In today's video, we're going to explore how ions are made, and why some atoms are more likely to form ions than others. An ion is just a charged particle, so it could be a single atom, like Na+, or a group of atoms, such as a hydroxide ion, which is OH-. As we've seen in our video on electron structure, ions are formed when atoms gain or lose electrons. And they do this in order to have a full outer shell, so that they're more stable. Now, one of the interesting things about the periodic table is that the group number tells us how many electrons the atoms of that group have in the outermost shell. So group one elements have one electron in the outermost shell, group two elements have two, and so on. In order to become stable though, atoms need to lose or gain electrons until their outermost shell is full. But losing and gaining electrons requires energy. So the atoms who only have to lose or gain one or two electrons are much more likely to do so and form ions, because it requires less energy. For example, group 1 elements, which we call the alkali metals, only have to lose one electron to have a full outer shell, which doesn't require very much energy. So they easily lose that electron to become 1 plus ions. Similarly, group 2 elements can easily lose 2 electrons to become 2 plus ions. And the same goes for group 6, which gains 2 electrons to become a 2 minus ion, and group 7, which has to gain 1 electron. However, the elements in groups 3, 4, and 5 would have to lose or gain 3 or 4 electrons, which would require loads of energy. And so this doesn't happen very often, and we generally don't see these elements as ions. Just like we can write chemical equations between different atoms, we can also write equations to show the gain or loss of electrons. For example, in the case of sodium, we could write that a sodium atom goes to form a sodium ion plus an electron. Or let's say we were looking at chlorine. We could write that chlorine plus an electron forms a 1 minus chloride ion. So as you can see, if the atom is becoming a positive ion and losing electrons, then we place the electron on the right of the reaction. While if the atom is gaining electrons, we place the electron on the left to show that it's combining with the atom. Sometimes atoms will lose or gain multiple electrons though. So for atoms like magnesium in group 2, they'll form a 2 plus ion and 2 electrons. So we would write Mg goes to form Mg2 plus plus 2 electrons. Or for an example of a group 6 element, we could take oxygen and write that oxygen plus 2 electrons goes to form an oxygen 2 minus ion. Anyway, that's everything for now. If this helped you out at all, then please do give us a like, and we'll see you next time.